everybody, I'm, I'm Wendy Lampen and um, I'm glad to be here and to be able to share with you um, the way I experience the world from the inside out and um, I would like to bring you a more metaphysical approach um, to my way of thinking and my way of perceiving the world and perhaps possibly that of those with brains like me. And I would like to start to share with you one of my earliest um, childhood memories and it's one where I'm sitting outside, I was about four or five years old and sitting outside my grandma's bungalow and digging in the dirt and at the same time my grandma and her sisters were playing cards and what I remember at the moment is the, the squeaking sound of a slip of one of my grey downs and um, I, can, I can still remember the, the, the foul, sharp, metal smell of the sand and even um, the staleness of the playing cards. And um, my grandma and her sisters, they were talking and, and my grandma was sharing a story about me because the week before I was playing with my cousins in the water and I turned upside down in my float. And then my uncle rushed into the water and, and he pulled me out. And she was telling this story to her sister and um, at the same time everyone was questioning me about the experience. And what I remember and what I told them was the speed with which she pulled me out and all the water gusting over me and um, it, it just felt like my legs were flowing over my head. And each stream of water felt like a separate lane and it all turned sort of like old rose pink. <laughs> and from the moment I started telling them that, they started laughing and they went on about fish and an octopus and everything. And at this very, up to this very moment, I still don't know what they are on about. And I still don't know why they laughed. But this is the way I experience things. And even at this moment, and, and you may not notice it, my tonicity in my muscles, it changes when I talk about it. I relive the entire experience with the sounds and the smells and even the emotional feeling. And this is what it's like to have Asperger's syndrome. And I'm not going to explain what Asperger's syndrome is because I believe your Google competences are well developed. So you can look it up. But for the time being and for the, during this talk, let's say that Asperger's syndrome is just the way my brain works and the way I give meaning to my perception, my experience, and therefore my meaning of the world. And sometimes it really is frightening and it is overwhelming and it is too much and it is tiring. And it feels like I'm living on the vertex of a rounded square. But from the moment on, I realised the way my brain worked and what I could do with it. And I even perceived the way my brain works inside and I can see it, the way it works. Then I could turn it into my advantage. And I can still stay on my vertex. And I can make it my acme to look at the rounded square and even choose to be part of the rounded square, if I want to. And what I would like to let you see and experience this a bit is the way the vertex or the, the way the rounded square um, looks like to me.